election cycle, has been doing a lot of active outreach around um, the South Asians, around the API in general, and, and will continue to do it. I mean, we, what we know in particular when you're talking about South Asian community, we're talking about the Indian community more specifically, um, it is a growing community in the United States um, in terms of its voting bloc, in terms of its participation. And, um, and I think the party knows that and, and knows that this is part of a, a, our collective community and, and there needs to be outreach and inclusion. And certainly you could become the first uh, Indian senator in U.S. history, which would be quite an accomplishment. Not good. <laughs> You could become the first uh, Indian senator in U.S. history, which would be quite an accomplishment. Not good. <laughs> Ariel Hodar, affectionately known as Mrs. Frazzle, to her combined audience of over 1.5 million followers, is here to help gentle parent us through this election. <laughs> Thank you. Hi, everybody. I am so honored to speak today. I am like shaking to just be among such incredible company. Um, we are here because as if you were here earlier, you've heard BIPOC women have tapped us in as white women to step up, listen and get involved this election season. They know better than to feed me anything. Um, because I do not care. This is a really important time, and we all need to use our voices and influence for the greater good. No matter who you are, you are all influencers in some way. So tonight, I'm going to share some do's and don'ts for getting involved in politics online and navigating the toxicity that comes with it. And spoiler alert, as much as the toxicity can come from the outside, it can come from us too. So first, don't isolate yourself. We can do our best work when we're in community together like we are tonight, because the toxic feels smaller when we support each other. But don't make it about yourself. <laughs> As white women, we need to use our privilege. Wait a damn minute. <laughs> Wait a damn minute. To make positive changes. If you find yourself talking over or speaking for BIPOC individuals or God forbid correcting them, just take a beat. And instead we can put our listening ears on. So do learn from and amplify the voices of those who have been historically marginalized and use the privilege you have in order to push for systemic change. As white people, we have a lot to learn and unlearn. So do check your blind spots. You are responsible for your algorithm, believe it or not. Uh, Ariel Fodar. I'm just, I'm just absolutely floored right now. And I am um, requesting all of the passport bros to send the information on how to get the F on up out of the United States, because this is half, what is going on with the world? What, let me rephrase, what is going on with the United States of America? What is going on with the United States of America? I, 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 this is how people talk in corporate America, and I can't stand it. This is, this is how you be, I just be sounding in corporate America. Now, clearly, I got to turn it on when I'm at work, but never like this. You still going to hear me. But all that, she talking like she's talking to a three-year-old. That's how you talk to kids. That's how you talk to infants and stuff like that. But she certainly knows she got um, privilege now, don't she? So, so can we stop? But the the black biatches will accept this right now. But if they had said this any other time or for doing it for any other reason, they would be crying and screaming and carrying on. But this is acceptable because everyone has lost their effing mind about this damn election. Everyone has lost their GD mind with regard to this damn election i can't i just can't I, I i can't even believe that this is a thing this is a zoom call again shout out to the right winged angel this is a zoom call for white women for kamala harris and it went just how you would expect the idea of white privilege is racist white liberals seem to believe they are better than anyone who isn't white clearly not that we didn't already know it they have a savior complex and it has led them to do and say some awfully racist things. This video is just one example, but it's okay right now. Cause you know, any other time, the coloreds, specifically women, would be outrageous, carrying on, talking bad, how dare you, calling their jobs and all this other stuff. But because it's this 
I guess, joint effort between any and everybody in order to get um, Kamala in, it's okay right now, which proves the point that they don't give a damn about nan, none of the black people at the end of the day. They, they care about black people for themselves. They don't give a damn about black people. They only care about black people for themselves, much like Roly Roll and all the rest of them Boulay people, Joy Reid, Tiffany Cross, um, D.L. Hughley, Sean King, all of them, all the people on Roland's 100 Men Call or however many men it was, all the people on the Divine Nine Call, all the people on the Black Woman Call, this is crazy. I thought you I can't do this. Shout out to Decline Management. I appreciate you. He says she can help you get your ID. This woman can't help me do nothing. Because if anybody ever sat in front of me or when they sit in front of me like this, I look at them like they're stupid. Then they'd be looking for me to say something. And I'm like, it's bad. My grandmother always told me if you have nothing nice to say, then you don't say anything at all. So it's best that I just don't say anything. Then I'm in trouble. This This is crazy. So you got Amanda Seals over here saying that she got the opportunity to speak to Kamala. She was summoned to her, according to her. Smart as Amanda Seals, meaning intelligent. She the most intelligent person in the world, according to her. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. No, 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 no. How no, no, no. I mean, no. And she gets in front of Kamala and she allegedly tells her that she's disingenuous. And she just told her, basically. And then Kamala just said, I don't know what you're talking about. You better take what it is I have to offer you and shut the F up. That, that's how I interpreted it. Now you got these white women over here looking half damn crazy. What are they getting out of it? What are they getting out of it? When Kamala come through and uh, becomes president, and then she leaves your colors in the dust, I'm going to be right here. We're going to be watching, and we're going to be laughing. I don't even know if the sound machine is working right now, but moving on, moving on. All right. All right. Listen, the, the reality also is this. Any policy that will benefit black people will benefit all of society. Let's be clear about that. Let's really be clear about that. So I'm not going to sit here and say I'm going to do something that's only going to benefit black people. No. Because I've lost all respect for that bitch. B I C T H. And I'm standing. We do not care. 